Now let's talk about creating void functions. Void functions return none and there are three ways that we could write functions that will return none. First of all, we could write a function that has no return statement. In this case, the body of the code simply consists of indented statements, but it doesn't terminate with a return statement. So Python will say, oh, I'm not seeing that you want to return anything. I will just return none. We can also have a return statement given in the body of the code, but without any expression given with it. So we just say return by itself, and Python will say, OK, you want me to return, but you're not telling me to return anything. I'll return none. And the third thing we can do is have a return statement, but instead of having an expression, we just provide the keyword none. So we would write return none. And that's another way to have a function return none. Now let's write a void function of our own. Let's call this maybe say underscore hi, and it doesn't take any arguments. We're just calling it for some side effects. We'll have a print statement where we'll say greetings, and another print statement where we'll say salutations, and another print statement where we'll just say hi. That's it. We have these three print statements, no return statement, hit return twice. Now that function is defined, and we can use it wherever we see fit. So to use the function again, we just provide the function name, and we have to provide the parentheses, even though we're not passing in any argument. And there we see the output generated by those three print functions. The function itself returned nothing useful. It returned none. And just to illustrate that, we can say x is equal to whatever say hi returns. We still see that same output. But now, what is x? If we put it on a line by itself in the interactive environment, hit return, we don't see anything. If we try to print x, we see that it is none. Now let's create another void function. This one that takes two arguments. We'll call it greeter. And the first argument or parameter we'll call name, and the second one age. And the assumption is that first parameter is a string containing some name. So it doesn't matter if we're passing parameters as numeric values, strings, or some other object. Python will associate the identifier that corresponds to whatever the actual parameter was that got passed in when the function was invoked. Let's go with a print statement again. And let's say hello, space, comma, and then the name. Let's add an exclamation point as a string literal. Then let's set the optional argument of the separator to the empty string. That's one statement. And let's give another print statement where we say, next year you'll be, and then we want to give the age plus 1. So age plus 1, and then the string literal, years old. Again, let's set the separator equal to the empty string. I'll put that on the next line. And because we have the open parentheses here, for the print statement, we can continue on with the argument list on the next line. And Python won't be confused by that. So the separator we set equal to the empty string. And now let's give a return statement, but not return anything. Just say, hey, return. We're done with this function. Let's see if this works. Let's call the greeter function. And let's provide a string argument. Let's go with Mickey. Uh, maybe we're thinking Mickey Mouse, and he was created in 1928. So right now, he's about 84 years old. And when we hit return, we get, hello, Mickey, next year you'll be 85 years old. This function is taking arguments in. It doesn't return anything, but it generates output. Again, let's set x equal to whatever this function returns, and let's go with Minnie this time. She was created the same year as Mickey. So they're the same age. And what is x now? 
it's none because the function didn't return anything. Now, for the sake of illustration, let's create a function that we'll call foo, and it doesn't take any arguments. Let's say the body of this function consists of the expression 7 plus 10, and that's it. Now, what happens when we call this function? So notice there's no return statement, so we aren't returning anything. We know that this must be a void function, so let's see what happens. We write the function name followed by parentheses. When we hit return, this will be called or invoked, and nothing happened. When we called the function, Python went and calculated 7 plus 10, but then nothing was done with that. That calculation was just lost or discarded. To illustrate that this is indeed a void function, let's print whatever foo returns, and it returns none. Let's consider one more little function. Let's call this one bar, and it takes a single argument, x. And what this does is it prints x plus 7, and here we'll return none. Explicitly say that. That's the end of the function. I'll hit return twice. Now we have our interactive prompt back. The function's defined, and let's call bar with an argument of 3. We see 10 as the output produced by that print statement, but again, this is not returning anything. If we say x is equal to bar of 3, that's not going to assign 10 to x. The 10 was the output of the print function. Instead, x is now none because this was a void function. We'll spend a whole other video just talking about this because it's a common source of errors, confusion between print and return.